Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. The Brilliant T-Rex Without a doubt, one of the most terrifying prehistoric creatures that ever lived was the Tyrannosaurus Rex. It was the king of the dinosaurs, a formidable monster that could flatten a human with one misplaced step or bite a bus in half. And yet, according to a new discovery, the T-Rex was even more terrifying than anyone imagined. Scientists have just found that the T-Rex had just as many neurons in its brain as a modern baboon. What this suggests is that the T-Rex wasn't a brainless killing machine, but rather a brilliant animal, capable of solving complex problems, using tools, and developing a culture of its own. If it hadn't been for the asteroid that killed the dinosaurs, the Tyrannosaurus Rex could have formed its own society and ruled the world. The Tyrannosaurus Rex wasn't the only apex predator with a big brain, though. The Allosaur was just as intelligent, with a brain comparable to that of a modern monkey. These new discoveries were made thanks to Dr. Susanna Herculano Huzel from Vanderbilt University. The doctor used modern chicken brains and the brains of other birds as a point of reference for understanding the brains of their ancient dinosaur cousins. She scaled bird brains up to fit inside the dinosaur brain cavity, revealing the previously unknown genius of the T-Rex and its toothy friends. Number 9. The Great Sea Monster Scientists have just identified the enormous skull of a giant marine lizard in Antarctica. The skull of this mysterious reptile is 4 feet long, suggesting its body was a total of 33 feet long. Researchers say the giant marine predator likely hunted ancient reptilian whales at the end of the dinosaur age 66 million years ago. The skull was discovered on Seymour Island, and scientists quickly recognized it as a new type of mosasaur. They called it Kaikaifilu Herve, after a reptile from the native creation myth of the Mapuche people of southern Chile and Argentina. According to legends, the Kai Kai Filu was a demigod reptile monster who fought his rival and in doing so shaped the world as we know it. As of right now, Kai Kai Filu is the largest example of a mosasaur ever found in the southern hemisphere. It's about twice the size of the next biggest mosasaur from Antarctica. It was so massive, researchers say its prey likely consisted of the largest ocean animals alive back then, such as plesiosaurs. Unfortunately for the mosasaur, it went extinct along with the dinosaurs. When the meteor impact hit off the coast of Mexico, that was it for the mosasaur and the T-Rex both. Scientists from the University of Chile say that after the great extinction event, large predators like Caicaifilu simply ceased to exist in Antarctica. Number 8. The Mega Raptor The fossilized remains of four dinosaurs were recently uncovered in Chile. The fossils include the remains of two ancient bird species and two velociraptor-like dinosaurs called Megaraptors. Scientists were particularly excited about the discovery of the Megaraptor fossils. They were looking in Las Chinas Valley, an inhospitable region of Patagonia recently revealed as a major fossil deposit site. All kinds of prehistoric critters have been found here, but this was the first time Megaraptors were identified. They were easy to spot because of their unique claws, sharp teeth, and huge upper limbs. Scientists say they were most likely at the top of the food chain in the region, which is perhaps why their bones haven't been found before. The Megaraptor was a particularly terrifying creature when it was alive between 90 and 88 million years ago. When you think raptor, the first thing that comes to mind is probably the ones from movies like Jurassic Park. But that isn't the case here. The Megaraptor was a ridiculous 26 feet tall. A single claw was like a sickle, so big it could have decapitated a human in a single swing. These gigantic raptors weighed over 2,000 pounds and were like miniature furry T-Rexes on steroids. And now for number 7. But first, it's shout out time! I want to say a big thank you to your girl Shauna and Kelly Kennedy for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about scary prehistoric creatures. Number 7. Elephant Birds Up until recently, scientists were fairly certain the first settlers of Madagascar arrived on the island no more than 4,000 years ago. But something strange happened that forced them to reconsider. They discovered the remains of monstrous birds that once dominated the island of Madagascar. 
The birds were massive, and the very last one went extinct 10,000 years ago. But their fossilized remains were discovered with cut marks from human tools. According to Dr. James Hansford from the Zoological Society London, this pushes back the date of human arrival in Madagascar by 6,000 years. For many thousands of years, human beings lived alongside elephant birds on the island of Madagascar. These birds were absolutely terrifying. They weighed over 1,000 pounds and were 10 feet tall. They laid eggs bigger than most dinosaurs. They also lived during a time when Madagascar was home to many giants. There were the elephant birds, like oversized emus that could peck your brains right out of your skull. But there were also giant lemurs and mammoth tortoises. All of these giants are now extinct, and very few examples of unique fauna still exist on the island. Most scientists agree the elephant birds weren't the most dangerous things in Madagascar. Humans were likely behind the slow and systematic destruction of these giant creatures, eating them until there were no more. Number 6. Sea Monster at the Cattle Station Cassandra and Cynthia Prince hunt for fossils in their spare time. The Australian sisters have what you might call a dinosaur obsession. They are constantly looking through the remote outback for glimpses into Australia's prehistoric past. During one of their most recent expeditions to a cattle station in the middle of nowhere, they made their best discovery yet. The sisters, joined by their friend Sally, came across the fossilized remains of a sea monster that lived 100 million years ago. According to what Cassandra told local news sources, at first they thought they were looking at a rock, a very shiny and smooth rock covered in dirt. But as they cleared away the layer of dust and grime, they realized they were staring at a prehistoric skull. The women had come across the remains of a long-necked plesiosaur. The plesiosaur was one of the most dangerous animals of our prehistoric oceans. It looked a lot like what you might expect the Loch Ness Monster to look like. It had a long serpentine neck, a head like that of an anaconda, and a fat body with four paddles for effortlessly moving through the water. Imagine a giant turtle without its shell, plus with a 20-foot long neck and a snake head. It was a serious predator, and one that if alive today would keep people far away from the beach. Number 5. The Ancient Bird A fossil with some peculiar features has just been found in China. The mysterious fossil belongs to a 120 million year old bird. It has a normal avian skeleton except for one part. Its skull looks weirdly similar to the skull of a Tyrannosaurus rex. Researchers are stumped because the bird looks like a bizarre mixture between an eagle and a T-Rex. The bird dominated the skies of the Cretaceous Earth, hunting for delicious meals and most likely doing an excellent job of it. With the head of a T-Rex, sharp talons and giant wings, the bird was without a doubt an apex predator. And yet it might not be a bird in the traditional sense. Right now, it's an unknown species, one that scientists say could be the link between dinosaurs and their bird descendants. For those who don't know, dinosaurs were basically giant lizards. But at some point, over 100 million years ago, they started changing. An evolutionary divergence occurred and a new branch of dinosaurs took to the skies. These dinosaurs shifted and changed, their fur turned into feathers, and suddenly there was a new family tree of birds. The end result of this metamorphosis can be found today at your local farm in the form of a chicken. All modern birds are descendants of dinosaurs, but by now they are quite removed. But just like the metamorphosis between ape and human, there is a missing link somewhere. Scientists have never found the transitory dinosaur on its way to becoming a bird. This newly uncovered species is the closest thing to a missing link that's ever been found. It's an amazing example of evolution in progress. It has all the body parts you expect to find with a bird, but it still has the skull of its dinosaur ancestor. Number 4. The Thunder Beast The Badlands National Park was once home to an ancient mammal named Brontothere. It roamed the area in great herds about 38 million years ago. The creature's name translates to Thunder Beast, a reference to the deafening sound that would have been made by a moving herd of brontotheres. 
When you had a whole group of these things traveling across the Badlands, it would have sounded a lot like thunderclaps. Each one was 8 feet tall and 16 feet long, roughly the size of a small elephant. As they galloped at full speed, it would have made the ground shake as if it were about to split open. The brontothere looked extremely similar to a rhinoceros, only bigger. They even had a pair of blunt horns sticking out from their noses. These horns were not quite as pointy as the horn on a rhinoceros, but they were nearly three and a half feet long. Scientists don't know what the horns were used for, but say they could have been for fighting or for attracting mates. Why not both? Number 3. The Dinosaur Eating Mammal Dinosaurs were not invincible. What I mean is that even the most ferocious dinosaurs were vulnerable to something. Sometimes they were eaten by crocodilians, sometimes they became the victim of parasites, sometimes they were even killed by some vicious mammals. One of the only mammals that evolved a hunger for dinosaur meat was the Repinomamus. It was a positively giant mammal for its time, roughly 130 million years ago. Most of the mammals alive back then were small and furry, and they hid in the shadows and avoided dinosaurs at all costs. But the Repenomamus was like a massive badger over three feet long. They were big enough to prey on smaller dinosaurs. We know this because in 2005, paleontologist Yao Ming Hu uncovered the remains of a Repenomamus with the fossilized body of a juvenile dinosaur in its guts. Scientists examined the juvenile's bones, soon determining it had been ripped apart and then swallowed in small pieces. In other words, it was eaten alive by the Repenomamus. However, there is no way of telling if the dinosaur was scavenged or hunted. Maybe the mammal came across a wounded dinosaur and saw an opportunity for an easy meal. It's tough right now to say how formidable of a predator the Repinomamus really was. Number 2. The Terror Bird Terror birds were some of the scariest prehistoric creatures that ever lived. They go by the scientific family name Forest Rassids, but we just call them terror birds. They were some of the top predators in South America up until 2.5 million years ago. They had large hooked beaks, they loved the taste of meat, and they hunted with ravenous delight. Terror birds were unlike other birds, specifically in the way they were built. For example, the construction of their skulls was totally different from average birds. The joints in their upper palate and near their beak were much less flexible than other types of birds, which likely gave them the ability to pummel their prey with their beaks like they were hammers. It also would have been a lot easier for them to rip apart carcasses that they scavenged. There is no denying that terror birds were vicious, opportunistic, and designed for killing, but they were also extremely diverse. They made their first appearance 62 million years ago, and by the end had multitudes of species. They ranged anywhere from 3 to 10 feet tall, but they all had fairly similar characteristics. They had long necks built with solid muscle for carrying their heavy heads. They were also lightning fast, able to run at a blistering speed of 30 miles per hour. When one of these birds chased you down, there was no doubt it would catch you. Then you had to deal with its huge sledgehammer-like beak and ripping talons. Number 1. The Ichthyosaur the new discovery of fossils 200 million years old may have finally revealed a creature even bigger than the modern blue whale. As of right now, the blue whale has the official title as the biggest animal that ever lived. Yes, the blue whale is larger than every dinosaur we know about. But there may have been something even more monstrous, something called an ichthyosaur. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but scientists believe they are getting closer to irrefutable evidence. For years now, proof has been trickling in that between 250 and 200 million years ago, a super predator lurked in the world's oceans. The most recent evidence came in the form of some teeth and pieces of vertebrae. These ancient fossils belong to an ichthyosaur that lived 205 million years ago, and they were found high up in the Swiss Alps at an altitude of over 9,000 feet. We already know the ichthyosaur was a gigantic monster. It almost looked like a dolphin, only significantly bigger and a whole lot meaner. Fun facts, they went extinct 90 million years ago, they gave birth to live young, and could also swim at an estimated 22 miles per hour. 
the largest one that we know about could grow to 69 feet long. The blue whale can grow to over 100 feet long. However, the newly uncovered teeth in the Swiss Alps seem to suggest there was one particular species of ichthyosaur that grew much larger than its relatives. It may have been big enough and heavy enough to rival the blue whale. If true, that would make the newly discovered ichthyosaur the biggest sea monster that ever lived. Thanks for watching! Which of these terrifying prehistoric monsters would you be the most scared of seeing in real life? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you later. Bye.